Dabei schon Mokzo, anything that's Mokzo, Mutzo Liga Boy. Mokzo, you're allowed to touch. Aber warte, ich bin mit Anaya, a full of Mokzo Sai. Und ich fand es fair, Rach Simmonser. So, anything that's Mokzo, we already spoke about before, you're allowed to touch Mokzo. The Issa Mokzo is tilted Mokzo, to move it. And I'm not sure who these, who these brackets are, but it says, ich fand es fair, Rach Simmonser. And the Taz argues on that. Because the Taz says, If I'm inspired, Perish the Bishum Tzab al-Achai and Mutter, Moshe Kosaf, Kosa Besif Mem. So, I'm not sure what the brackets are, but the, the, this, this halacha is coming from the past halacha that it said, that we learned last week, that Muktza, in Allah, be metaltal, even Muktza, even part of Muktza, in Allah, be metaltal. So, in the Mechab, especially, I'm in the Nea, full of Muktza, it's coming off the last sif that we learned that by Balachayim, only a Tsa Balachayim gave a header to move Balachayim Miktsasai. But not because of Tsa Balachayim, like we spoke last week, to pet the dog and move the hair of it, is also because Miktsasai is also. You're not going to move even Miktsasai, but if you're not moving it, touching Muktsa, using Muktsa is Mutter. It's a cloud, it's a mistake that people make. You're not allowed to touch Muktsa, you're not allowed to use Muktsa, you're allowed to use Muktsa, you're not allowed to touch Muktsa. You're not going to move Mokta. What if you touch your pet, but by the touching action, it moves? Well, it's also, it's also. That's, that's so then you moving with Tosa. Because there will always yes. be the chance. Correct. Unless it's Tzab al Yes. People should stay away from touching your pets on Shabbos. So Tosa's not arguing. Uh, it says over here, I'm not sure back. I think there's two different halachas here. What are saying? The Taz is basically saying if you're going to talk about Miktosa, go back to halachas. Ah, so, so he if means this. Yeah. Okay, if you, and if you're talking about being, being touching, tell, right, right, touching, and not touching, then go back to, go, to, okay, to okay, halachas. Could be. Could be. Could be. It says Pirish. We find inspired Pirish. Right. He's explaining it. Right. We have said before you're not you're allowed to put a clean over things, right. concept, but not an egg. But but if, if you put a clean over an egg, as long as yeah. the, the inside of it doesn't touch the egg, because you're gonna move it, because it might move. Yeah, right? it might move. Yeah, it's similar to like dogs. It's similar right, because it might move. Yeah. Anything that might move is a problem. Uh -huh. You said something, perhaps close to a year ago, that let's see the dryer, and you want the door of the dryer to get something inside the dryer. Right. You said something about the fact that the main component of the dryer. Is Mokta. Yeah, but the, the, the door somehow, would that be Mutter? The question is why is it Mokta? That's Halakha Gimel. That, 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 yeah. Halakha Gimel is you have a large object and you touch the door. No, but here's how power a large object. Here's how the dryer to Kulisham Lachal Isa. A cabinet is something else. A cabinet is not Mokta. Uh -huh. You can't move it because a large object that you can't move doesn't make a Mokta that we had. That's on the door, mm -hmm. right. But the dryer to Palmer is Kulisham Lachal Right, but mm -hmm. can you touch a dryer? You can touch a dryer. That's Halakha Gimel. Can you touch the dryer? Why can't you touch it? Yeah, yeah, you touch it. It's motor because it's correct. Because yeah, you're you gotta to move it. it. Right. But to, to move, open the door, if you need something from inside. It's, but it does move it's, it. It's sort of cool for your You need something from inside. A car. If it wasn't for the light inside, yeah. You could be you could open the car door. And Why not open the car door? I'm sorry. Why not open? It's motor. Cars motor on Shabbos. Because you need obviously. Because sort of cool for your motor. Because you need something from inside, so you're moving the car right. door the Tzarek right. Yeah, but only because you're moving the Tzarek Mekaymoy. Mm -hmm. But if not for that, it would be also to move it. It's Mokta. It is Mokta. Car door is Mokta. Dry door is Mokta. These are Klisha Malach Tel Isser. But you can lean on car. But you can, you lean, can lean on, on car. car. Clean on car, but that's a problem. It's a car leaning on a car. We're not moving it. Move. Is that called moving in Mekta? Same as a fridge door. Not that yet. It's a fridge door. No, a fridge is not Klisha Malach Tel Isser. First, like Lisham Lachlan said. Am Shom Nanaya? He is moving? No. Yeah, so the question is, moving the car, and the car moves up and down a little bit, is that called Menanaya Mikhtasai? So it could be it is. It's called, it's could be it's called moving Mikhtasai, and you now let him move Mikhtas Mokta. Well, not only that, but you could set the car alarm off. Yeah, I'm sure it's actually. Yeah. So that's a cloud. Mokta, you let him move, you let him touch, you let him use it, but you now let him move it. Sif Mem Gimel, Mutter of Taltu. Mukta Yudei Neficha. This also we had before a Yelada blow Mukta. And the reason for that was is because blowing it 
is not called tiltal. But Isser of Muktzo, we spoke at the beginning of the Simen, is an Isser of tiltal, moving it. Blowing it is not called tiltal. Tiltal means you're moving it with your hands. That's why we had the whole shot about moving it with your foot. Is that called, is a mutter or not? Because it's not called tiltal. Anytime it's not called moving it, the way you usually move it, there's no Isser of tiltal Muktzo. So something that you usually do blow, that is the normal way to Right, that'll be also. Right, so it's darker bekach will be also. Same thing with your foot. That was no shadow with the foot. If it's darker bekach to move it with your foot, then it could be it's also. Let's say it's dusty. Yeah, of course it's dust mukta. It probably is. Probably has no tashmish at all. If you have a dusty area, you want to sit there, maybe learn or something like that. Could you? Is that sort of? Yeah, but the dust mukta. Dust mukta. So you wouldn't be able to even move it for the uh-huh. Interesting, so interesting have, question. So normally you would blow, so you could do it. Like I know, interesting <laughs> question. You take it safer from yourself. Everyone used to want to blow off the yeah. dust yeah, on the yeah, top. Yeah. What? Yeah. So there's no dust on this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that lock? Interesting, interesting, interesting question. You gotta dust blow it. Because it could be a dust that's What's it called? Uh huh. Which was an interesting question. It's the fichi, you're blowing it, but it's not But you're not moving the fichi. Yeah, you're moving the dust on top of the sand, but you're blowing the dust. Interesting question, I don't know. Yesiv mem dalit. Kli shen esrei a, a kli that became, that got ruined, that got weak. So it means it got damaged. It's bad. Lo yitlu mi menu cheres lechasas boy, a lismach boy. You know, I'll take off a piece of it, to go ahead and to cover a kli. Now what's the Isser over here? So here the problem is, if you look at the Levush Esrod, the Levush Esrod writes over here, you have the Levush Esrod? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, and the Sif uh, Memdal, Why not? Why can't I take a piece of, of, of uh, Keres, a piece of uh, clay from the, from the kli? The Mesakin Oyser the kli, we have a Makba Patish. By taking it off, we're talking about here, we'll see, we'll see soon, an upshot that the kli broke, and has a piece lying that you want to use the piece. We're talking about that the piece is weak, and you're breaking off a piece. By breaking it off, now you're making it that it's possible to be mechasseb by a kli. That's called makam apatish. So look what he says. Well, Lashon la yitlu shen kasseb b'shechon arach eni meduktik, to Lashon rambam huva b'yseseb la yachtoich mimenu. You shouldn't cut off a piece. Just to take a piece that's broken already is mutter. To break off a piece, that's when you'll have an issue, because then you're making it into a kli. Behind the Bemaisa Chaticha have a makkah bepatish. If the piece of cheres fell off already, but you're smoothing it, the piece, also the uchtzad and it's, uh, the pieces that are sticking out and the sharp parts of it, Shaboy, have a gamke makkah bepatish. If the kli broke, and now you have a piece lying there, you want to take that piece and use it, you're not doing anything. You're not making a patish. All you're doing is picking up a broken piece. And it's right to, to cover a kli. Only if you're breaking it, it off. Fits. If it fits. fits, yeah. yeah. If it doesn't fit, and you do it, if you, you shape it, that it should fit, it'll be awesome. That would be called making a patish. As long as you're just taking it off, and not doing anything to it, then it's mutter. Okay, see. Yeah, he's learning that there's an. <coughs> so, what is this clay? It, 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 it's not completely broken yet, the piece, because we've already said that that's mutter. Right? right. And this idea of breaking it off, it means right. that what? That it was partially it was broken? It wasn't already broken. It wasn't already detached. Let's say it felt that it broke, and it's not detached, right? right. So, you have to break off the piece, totally detach it. And now you can use the chasas boy as a kli. So it's interesting because I think Mr. Bird used the term misak and kli for this. Yeah. You're but making you, this kli. You should understand. I mean, misak and kli. You're not I mean, fixing if anything, the it's broken kli. You're making a brand new kli. Yeah, that kli. Yeah. The misak and kli is not the broken kli. Yeah. The misak and kli is the piece that you're breaking off. 
Yeah. On the new piece. The new yeah. piece, they're yeah. breaking it off. You're making yeah. that into a clean. Yeah, the other clean is broken. Right. Right. So, yeah. so why should yeah. that confuse you? Why? Let's see if it's inside. That's very. Because it's not about a particular clean. But Yitlu and Manu. The Lelushi Srod makes sense. That's the matter of a Patish. Yeah, he's basically. I think he's coming from the Lelushi Srod. He is, he is. Because you can see it. what he's saying now. Now I understand it. Yeah. But Yitlu and Manu. Ratzalai Mishra Yitlu and Mimanu. The Bemaisa Hatlisha. By taking it off. Who be chalal take and clean? The piece itself is becoming a take and clean. When she's barbed, she's mishin mem, she's chal dover, she's mesakna mishabes, leizer tashmish. Yes, by mishab take and clean. Right, but so, the way he phrases it, the b'maisi had to lisha. Yeah, is mashma. He's breaking up the the breaking off of the piece. Is making it into a clean, a broken piece now. The piece that you're breaking off. Now you could cover a different clay with it. Yeah, so that's, you're okay. breaking off of something that's oh, uh, a broken clay, oh, no. but that piece that you're breaking off, something. now that piece you're using to cover a clay. Right. Yeah, right. We were thinking of the clay from which oh. it came. No, no, that's broken. Yeah. That's gone. Well, unless, unless if you actually take off that broken part, then you can use the, 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 the remaining part to use as a clay. Then for sure be also, yeah. Also yeah, be also, yeah. If you're breaking it off, you're fixing the other clay, but that's not the case we're talking about over here. Right. Here we're talking about the, br- the broken piece that you're taking off, that piece is becoming a clean now because you could use it to cover something. So now you couldn't, it was too so big. it's not attached to the original clean. You're, you're talking about just the piece now that's on the... On the on no, if, that, if, that piece, if that piece itself is roy to, to cover a different clean, right. without you doing anything to it, then you're not doing anything. That's what right. it says. But, but, uh, what, uh, so what are you doing? You're, taking you're breaking it off. That's clean. Broken, it's still, it's still attached it's a little bit. Oh, it's yeah. still attached. Yeah. 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 By taking yeah. it off, by detaching it totally from the clean, now you're making that broken piece into a clean. So Your name, a uh, shem, give it the new shem. Yeah, give it a new shem. Now you could use it for something. You're not taking the broken part and making it to size. There will also be a problem. That's, the the Lush says, says two things. One thing, you're breaking it off as a problem. And even if it's broken off, if you're taking away the belitois, right. the, the that means it's smooth again. And now right. you want to cover your jar. Right, so, so we're taking off so the sharp edge. The that's also a problem. That's going to be the mark of a path. That's also both of them. That I understood. It. Yeah. The other the part is taking it off. They, they, they bring down a, like a halacha maisa case where yeah. it mentions those cheap plastic forks you sometimes get, like a kiddush and stuff like that. Right. Sometimes they have little leaves oh, yeah. on the edges of little yeah, pieces of plastic, plastic that are like sharp and like they would cut you if you use them. And you so break you it off. Break, you break them off. Just That's so makapatish. Just so you can nicely use the fork. That would be this. That's a makapatish, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. In the Mark of Patrick was making the fork now usable. Turn on the fork wasn't usable. No, for it was usable, usable but it's usable. Uh, nicely usable or easily usable, yeah, or yeah. making it better, making yeah, it more yeah. convenient. Yeah. Yeah. That's all called. That's Mark of Patrick. Yeah. 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 He's saying if it was called a yeah, clip before, you make it better. better. Now it's a better form. It's right. more usable. Yeah. Yes, it's also a problem. It's also a macro uh-huh. Is it called tikkun clip? You're basically doing a tikkun Yes, you're making a tikkun clip, yeah. <laughs> tikkun clip doesn't have to be that the clip was not usable at all, and now you're making it usable. Uh-huh. Even if it was usable a little bit, you're making it more usable, it's still a problem of tikkun clip. Yes, we, we find that. Especially if the fork is hard to use because there's sharp edge to it, then for sure it's a problem. Okay, Sif Memhei. Also, this is like the Shabbos, the Yom Tov, you're not allowed to play. On Shabbos, the Yom Tov, the Kadr with a bowl, Hagar, the Yesh Matin, and the Noagul Hakal. Some people are Makal, and the Noagul Hakal, we are Makal, they could use it on Shabbos. Now let's see the Magen of Rome first. Now we'll get into the reasoning here. Bekadur, but also the taltal hakadur. You're not allowed to move. You're not allowed to be metaltal a ball on Shabbos. The bemachshavtoi le mashvile kli. With your machshava, you cannot make it into a kli. Now the Magen of Rome is very clear that, and we'll see in the Mishnah in a second, that the iser of using a ball on Shabbos is that. We had before that a machshava to make something into a kli has to be a, a usage. A usage that you use it for. To play with something, the first sheet in the machshava holds, playing is not called a usage. Playing, setting aside something just to play, is not called a usage. 
If you look in the Mishnah Brewer over here, it says it also. Kofnan Zion, the Kadur, Bainim Hishal Nayar, Aishal Aitz, whether it's on paper or from wood, Sha'in Shem Kli Olav, you cannot get a Shem Kli, Machma Sharoi Lishak Boy, because you're playing with it. Playing with something does not, is not called an Ishtamshus in order to make it into a Kli. It's not Choshev enough. In order to make something into a Kli, it has to have a Cheshivus. Playing with something, setting it aside to play with it, is not called a Cheshivus. Since it's meant to use it constantly, you set it aside for that. So here the Machlaika says basically, it's setting aside something for playing called. Making it into a kli, give it a cheshivas of a kli. That's the machlekes. The machaber holds that it's not good enough, and the ramah holds since you use it constantly for that, so it's good enough. That's the machlekes. Is, is it actually machlekes? Because the fact of the matter is that the, the it may be it may be something that uh, you know, if, for example, to take the, the bulls. Okay, so, so bull, if you talk about eight and eleven, that's in those days. Right. right so, so, so the machlekes was definitely in those days. Right. The is the machaber and the ramah was definitely in those days. I don't think anybody's going to say most of the posts from today say any bull that you have today. Right. You can't say that setting something aside for playing is not chashuv. Because there's billion dollar industries out there of making toys, right? Toys are all meant to play. Any toy that's made is meant just to play, kids' toys, right? It's meant just to play with. Right. So you can't say today that it's not a Dover Chashuv and it doesn't become a Kli because you made it just for playing. So most of the price, I think about all the price can hold today, that a ball is not Mokta. But if you took like something so, yes, like that, then. That, uh, it wasn't a right. toy. Correct. It wasn't made a toy. Maybe or uh, right. General, maybe it wasn't meant to play. Correct. Put that aside to play. And that's what he's talking about. That could be his mukta. Yeah. Correct. That could. The famous question is, you know, when it's a show they play with the apricot bits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So the question is, they become not mukta when the kids set it aside to okay. play with it. Yeah. Right. That's a shayla. That'll be machlaisim chavin mm-hmm. derimah. Well, there, I think it says in the notes, it's another issue, and that is whether a kid's machshava. Right. A kid's machshava. Yeah. Right. It's also that's a shayla. Most of the Pisces don't learn over here the problem is the kids machshal. Because even if a f- parent puts it aside for a toy, it's mashal from the machaber, it won't be good enough. Right? The machaber doesn't say because a kid puts it away. Mm-hmm. Right? Even if a parent puts it away to, for the kid to play with, it could be it's machlaikis. So that's a shadow with the apricot pits, you know, if it's called. They say, that's a typical case of, the, of setting it aside just for playing. It's not meant for that, but the kids set it aside for playing. So it could be according to the Mechab, but it'll still be a Mokta. You don't have to stop the kids from playing with it, but for an adult to move it, it could be its Mokta. The same thing with bottle caps, you know, kids play with the bottle caps. Yeah. And they still do anymore, but they used to play with the bottle caps. They become its Mokta because of it. And yeah, when we were kids, every Shabbos, uh, down in the basement, we take a paper cup and crush it up. And then make it into a ball. And make it into a soccer ball, yeah. yeah. So that's, that was yeah, right, awesome. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they don't stop kids from doing it. Yeah. But no, according, according yeah, to their, yeah, according to their motor. Yeah. But even but if, you, if you, you're creating, because yeah. it wasn't before. Oh, you're creating it on Shabbos. Yeah. Yeah, you're crushing a cup. It was a cup before Shabbos. Yeah, it could be it's Muxa. Yeah, with kids, you don't stop from playing. Right, so, so according to uh, the comment that today, today's balls l'chayra is not mukta, and you're allowed to move them around. Let's, let's see the Mogan of Rom, Sifkat 9 Gimel, Vyesh Matirin, Vashach Chosav, the Taisvis, the Chosav, the Hatha, El Biyamtev. Shach writes that the Taisvis <coughs> writes that the only heter to use a ball is on Yamtev. Kim in the Yesh by Tzerich Tzas, because there is some type of Tzerich, or Mina Metoich Shahutur, the Tzerich. So there's a hetter to use it on Yom Tif because of Mitoich, which is the hetter on Yom Tif. Avo loy b'shabes, but dok al kana shoyner. The linear says the Morgan of Rom, the loy minar Mitoich elav isur This Mitoich, 
means since it's mutter to use for one thing, you're allowed to use it for something else also. That's only for carrying. Uh, but it's a tiltal Shabbos for Yom Tov So the Mogul Avram argues on the Shach, and says this that the Shach says, the, the Heter only on Yom Tov is not true. Because Yom Tov, the only thing that's more kal on Yom Tov over Shabbos is Haitzar, is carrying. But Muktzah, if anything, Yom Tov is worse than Shabbos. So says the Mogul Avram, but Adil Abi Yesh Aimed the Muktzah also Yom Tov. Cooking for sure. Yeah, cooking. Yeah, I'm not talking about cooking. cooking uh, but yeah, yeah, cooking your rap. Here we're not talking about cooking. Yeah, but he says the only. It's by Haitzar, and it means cooking also. Yeah, but it means not Tilto. Not tilto, not mukta. Okay, because in the lotion it seems like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only. You have you have it for uh, for cooking also. Right. We meant I saw not tilto here. That's what it means here. Here we're talking about tilto. You've been tilto the uh-huh. the mukta. You don't say me toich on tilto. You say me toich on I saw. He words like this, I think, because tilto and hatsa are kind of like the same come thing. Together, yeah, they, they, come they together. Come together in many ways. I could be told. So tilto comes yeah. from I saw. He doesn't mean to exclude. No, I don't think I don't think he means to exclude Bishul. No, no. Right. Okay. I mean, I know we're learning Muktzah, not, not, not this, but I mean, that's a big Kiddush now to say that. I mean, the Gemara talks about Mitoyf in, in all other ones, and then it has to go to the next level of is it, is it Dover Shabbalachom Nefesh? Yeah, but not by Tilt. That's but, what you're saying. But it could be by other things. In other yeah. words, it's, so I think here it means that it's saw and not Tilt. I don't think it means everything. I don't think it means only that it's saw and not anything else. Mm. It can't mean that because it's, it's the same in Taif, other things also. He has to mean, he, yeah, he doesn't mean, um, he doesn't mean nothing else, it can't mean nothing else, because there is Mithai for other things. Okay, from the, yeah. Okay. And <laughs> The Yavashlam says also that Tesis holds Medina Yinala to use a ball on Shabbos, and the Shana Agulahakal, the Minig was to be Makal. The Mtaim Alishtari, Mifnesha Chazu, Lotsa Pitzla Chusai, you should be able to metal it for a different reason, because you can use it to cover your bottle. The Yavashlam had the Mimis, the Tit, the offer of Einra, the Chasmus. To say it's Mutter to metal this ball because you could use it for something else, says the Mogad of Ram, you can't because it is dirty and you won't use it for anything else. Anything else. So learning the Mechaber and the Morgan of Rome comes out that a ball, you'll not, it's not Muksa on Shabbos, you'll not be metal to it on Shabbos. The Morgan of Rome, the Mishaburu brings down over here, if you look in the, Mish, the Mishaburu over here, the left off in the middle of Kufnun Ches. Yes, Matiyam. In the Komok and the Kula Alma, also Lizchak Meshusar Abim, you can't play in the Meshusar Abim, a full of a carbolus for Shabbos. The Bekal who should yipal the chutzpah al the rabbis for also not suye. A biyamtef mutter a full of shusar rabbim lishchak boil the yezu. Now, if you come out from the mechaber and the rama and the morgan avram the shabura, a ball is mutter today especially that to set aside for that usage. There shouldn't be any issur to use a ball on shabbos to play with it. Taker isn't playing ball is something else. That's a whole different shaila. Ball is not mukta. You can move it. Kid wants to play with it, something else. But playing ball is all different Shiloh, and there's a Yushalmi that the that the Beisayse brings down that there was an ear, there was a seed that was Nechra, that was destroyed, because people played ball on Shabbos. That's what the Shalmi brings down. The question is what he means. You mean playing a game? Yeah. Like baseball. So, this, so that's a Shiloh. What, is, what does the Shalmi mean? The Shalmi says there was an ear, there was a seed that was destroyed in Yushalayim because people played ball on Shabbos. And most of the places can be learned what it means is, is that they played a game, they made a whole thing out of it. And there was a Zilzal Shabbos. So go make a whole game on Shabbos, it's a Zilzal Shabbos. There's a few problems. First of all, Zilzal Shabbos. And the second problem is we, we had learned already that to go running around on Shabbos, that's a Pasha that's Mutter. 
for jogging and Shabbos, all these things. The Talmud, is, uh, like exercise. Yeah, exercising. Is that's a posture that's muta on Shabbos. Over the, over the, the no? Yeah, that's a posture that's muta on Shabbos. So we have these games on Shabbos, then there may not be an iser to do it, but there's something called, even Dvarim Hamutarim sometimes are also to do. Even though it's muta, you can't find an iser to make a baseball game on Shabbos, but definitely it's not something that should be done. And the person said, that's the Yerushalmi. When the Yerushalmi says there was an ear that was Nechrav, is when they made a whole game out of it, and they played ball on Shabbos, and it was a zilzil for Shabbos. That's what Yerushalmi says. So you want to, a person is playing with his kid, a little ball, that, no listen. Okay. But to make the whole thing out of it... Spring standard, there was a, uh, the ear that was uh, destroyed. Yeah, Nechrav, because they're playing ball. Yeah, I think yeah. it's Yerushalmi. Uh, yeah, Yerushalmi brings that, yeah. So, how do we pass on this? So, there's no psak. If you ask what the psak is, halacha mm. la there's no iser. If it's the right thing to do, pasha is not the right thing to do. Pasha is not the right thing to do. Where a person draws his limits, that's everyone's, uh, that's you know, up to everyone to decide. You know, just having a catch with the kid on Shabbos. I'll tell you the truth, I never saw war being played on Shabbos until I moved to Toronto. <laughs> I never <laughs> knew. Because you yeah, I never knew there was such a Muslim. No, I grew up in Bongo County, in camps, camps no, Shabbos. Never saw anybody playing ball in Shabbos. I never saw it. I came to Toronto uh, first of all, so I walked by the park. I see a baseball game going on. I almost fell off my chair. I thought it was Goyim playing. Then I saw there was Yamakis. It was the first time I ever saw it. What? Sits are hanging out. yeah. I never saw it. The mice, when I grew up, it was also to play ball on Shabbos. Not because the Kadar is Mukta. Because playing ball is not something you do on Shabbos. It's also for Shabbos. Except he's riding a bike. could be said it's an Onik Shabbos. I mean, huh? You could call it an Onik Shabbos. Yeah, but it's not... No, it's, 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 riding a bike is a different issue of Shem Tachin, no? Who said that? It's not the issue of riding a bike in Shabbos. No, I mean, it could be a Shabbos, but it's in, in the place game. I mean, there is, today we can say anything Shem right? Tachin. There's no Issa there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's riding a bike in the, in the place game. Could be today, the person would say it's a chain can fall off, you'll fix it, so maybe it's Shemi Sakin. You can say there are a lot of things. I remember there was a. One of my friends said that like, when, the, when he came to Toronto, a guy whizzed by him in rollerblades with his talus out of his hands, like the Chavez. <laughs> <laughs> like, he couldn't believe what was going on. In a rollerblades and Chavez, but there's no, there really is no Issa. There's no, in, in these things, there's no Issa to do it. It's a sensitivity towards Chavez. Now, to go ahead and say it's also to play ball, you can't say that. To go ahead and say it's the wrong thing, that you could say. That's what should be done on Shabbos. Now, I said everyone can make their limits, exactly where you want to do it. You're going to have a catch with your kid. In our circles, we never did that. We never heard such a thing. But the Zilzal Shabbos. Shabbos is meant to spend time with the family, to learn, whatever it is. Playing ball is not a Shabbos thing. And we grew up because of that Yerushalmi, because the Isha Nechrav, because of playing ball on Shabbos. Shabbos. But like I said, it's a gray area, and uh, it's, you know, everyone. Uh, so if you ask a paisik, it was also to play ball on Shabbos. No paisik is going to tell you that it's also. because there's no issue for it. So what about this ashvuya gumois? Right, ashvuya gumois. Now that, that I mean, after the, after the ball was not mokta, right? And after you don't deal, and and, and you're past the issue of the of the dechol. There's still yeah. the uh, 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 Ashvuya, what are you doing? You play basketball, it's not Ashwari Gumas. Baseball is not Ashwari Gumas. Soccer, you may have Ashwari Gumas. It depends on the floor. Ashwari Gumas means you're smoothing out the. the well, it's it's just, just, uh, yeah, it depends on the floor. Yeah, smoothing out, yeah, yeah, smoothing out the, the floor. Maybe baseball, 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 yeah. yeah. Now that I see what it is, I mean, it, if, you do, if you do ask for your during why you play the ball for short salsa, right. but here's that talking about the the Mishpura says that shvi gumois, right? He brings it down here. Yeah, Mishpura yeah, yeah, says the yeah, shvi gumois. He's saying that you may come to it. I said if the game includes a shvi gumois, it's smoothing it out. There's no question about that. It's also for sure you should stay away from it. Yeah, then definitely stay away from it. Yeah, I, 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 I have it. And where you're playing that. Like, like, yeah. Where you're playing, you're playing on turf. Type of surface you're yeah, playing on yeah. turf, you don't have the issue. Playing on, on dirt, you don't have the issue. 
Nothing good comes out of playing ball on Shabbos. <laughs> That's the clown. Your kids let you learn. Your kids have other things to play on Shabbos. What? They have other things to play on Shabbos besides ball. I'm saying, but they let you learn something good comes out of Shabbos. I can show there's a kid I remember. Yeah. Not to say it's, it's a pretty uh, accepted <laughs> custom here. And you see kids playing basketball on, on the I know. driveway every every. I know here. Every street. It, it, it's, I've seen it here. Yeah, I've seen it here. And it's a. Uh, it's a Toronto law. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a Toronto law. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Every shop says you should have something to do. It's an introduction. What? Safer Chinuch or Minchas Chinuch wrote the Safer for his child. Yeah, yeah. So do it. Shabbos afternoon. Right. Yeah. Was it Minchas Chinuch or Sefer Chinuch? Sefer Chinuch. Sefer Chinuch. Sefer Chinuch wrote his children, his child. Yeah, so that's what he's doing. Yeah. Shabbos not the Yeah. 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 <laughs> he never deprived his kids. Right. He never deprived his kids. Right. To let them play ball. That was when the boss was still made of wood. Could you imagine? Yeah. He kept them busy for a while. Yeah. The winter is one. Now for real, he doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, fine. Sif, Sif mem vav. Also, lasse is tachat atzilov. The other carry on the armpits. Zero hat elohim the seed from the the worms. What's called silkworm? So it's a hameshi. If they should also be tilto, the oitu moil be chaymoy. So there's two problems over here. It's mukta, and second of all, it could make the worm uh, be, 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 uh, be uh, creating, uh, hatch, hatch through that. So, but it's warm, so it may, it may make the the worm hatch. <laughs> so if you look, if you look in um, in the in the um, Mishabura, Sif Khan Kufnun Tess. What's the Isser? What's the Lai Mishra Yedea? Choim, Yetzim Hatelloim. Through the heat, the worms come out from the Zera from the seed. Vaafagaft Eim Chavon the Zev. They don't mean to do that. Chamokoim, Segreshum, Lach Tvachshevesu. It's a Segreshum that's going to happen, and therefore it's awesome. Even though it's the Lai Nichalim. Question is, is Lai Nichalim not? Why? You want these ones. You want these ones. Yeah, yeah, you want the ones. That's why you. Yeah, you want the ones. Okay, next Sif. Sif Mem Zayin. Yes, Oisrim, the Taltol Beged Shatnei is Vesh Matinim. You have a you have a Beged, a suit or something that Shatnei. So you're not gonna wear it. So some Aser, and some are Matirim. So says the Morgan Avram. Begit shatnes, the yam shashleim is safe perik alf the beyer posach the osel the tal toloi kiim the tzarech gufoy emikaymoy ayin shom. He says you learn move the tzarech gufoy emikaymoy. By him be your days and mission alf the esh klayim the chazal the midi. There is some klayim they could use for something that is mutter. By guda be beyer mashma the osel the tal tol klal. You're not allowed to be metatal at all. But it has, has no purpose. Or once it's so, shot, it, it right, so no it, use. Right, so here the shot is, according to the Oysen, a bag of shot is, is also to wear. You're not allowed to wear it. So the khair now, the way it is, it has no usage. Mm-hmm. It has no usage. So the khair it should be mukta machmaz gufoy. You want to cover things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Covering yourself. Yeah, you can't use. Yeah, the question is, could you use it to cover something if it's meant? So, so, okay, to cover it, we'll see in a second. If you look at the Mishnah of Yisif Kohen Kuf Samach, the Talto, if they should also the life shoy, or muktzahu and it's muktzah, a full tzarich kufay mukaymi aser. Now, we're talking about a beggar over here, obviously, a beggar of shatnis that you plan on fixing. Right? You can't wear it. If you're going to fix it, you're going to wear it. Mm-hmm. Let's say you have a beggar you're not going to wear. It's shatnis, you're never going to wear it. What are you going to do with it? You'll give it away to somebody. So there, it could be it's not mukta, because you don't have intention to fix it. Or maybe you can use it like to cover something where you'll use it for that. We're talking about a beggar that's meant to wear and you cannot wear it till it's fixed. 
So right now there's an Isser in it. So there's no usage of this Begit. So that Begit is also a Tzarek Kufa Why? Because it has no usage. Can you use Muktzah not on yourself? In other words, can you use a Muktzah to cover something? A table? What do you mean, Klein? Not Muktzah. Shadness. Shadness. Yeah. Yeah, so you could use Shadness something else. So it could, to wipe something. So to wipe something yeah. else. No, but the, but the problem here is that this you're not going to use for anything else. It doesn't have a usage. You, you're waiting to fix it. We've had that before, but with the, with the, we have it we have it with the boss of Chai, with the raw meat, right? But it's really, dogs could eat it. So why is it mukta? Because you're not going to give it to them. You're going to wait till after Shabbos and then cook it up and use it. Anything you're not going to use it in its state the way it is now has a din mukta. Even though it's possible to use it for something else, but you don't use it for that usage, therefore it's mukta. You have a suit, it's mashanis. Right, that's what I said. Throw it on the. On the yeah, that's, that, that was like dumb. We're talking about something that you plan on taking out to shanis. If you don't plan on taking out to shanis, then you can use it for any other usage. So we're talking about something you plan on taking out to shanis, therefore it's mukta, because the way it is now, it has no usage. But the problem is the Mughan of Rum throws is in. Is Suffolk shanis the same halacha? Why not? You're not going to You have a suit that. You haven't checked the shanis. You haven't checked it yet. So you're not going to wear it. Right. So you haven't, it, you're not sure it's shotness. You don't know. Maybe one way or the other. Most of the right. time it's so not. So you're not going to wear it It's, it's it in the cupboard now and it, you, it, you need to move it. Can't you just rely on rope? Yeah. Because most of them are not shotness. No, but you're not going to wear it. It's not a way you can rely on rope. You're not going to wear this. This thing, you, you might cut some of that. You're not going to wear it on Shabbos. This suit, you're not going to wear it till it's checked. You've already decided that. Yeah. Well, you've already yeah. decided that. You won't, you won't wear the suit till it's checked. Uh-huh. There's nothing to do with if it's only a suffix, is there? So it, would fall, it would fall yeah. into this category. Yeah, the Any suit that, you're not, that you didn't check for shatnas yet, and you're not going to wear it, and you're not giving it away to anybody, so it's muktzah. And it's the highest form, it's muktzah machmas gufa. Muktzah machmas gufa. The problem is the Mughal of Rambam is down over here. Hands, which is oversized, you want to uh, make adjust to them? It's no, there's somebody else who wear it. No, Pedro says it's only you, man, in the house. And you we'll, have see, a, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see in Sifna and Aleph, in Sifna and Bays. Something that's muktzah that you're not, you're not wearing it because it's not good for you is a muktzah for everybody else. We'll see. Let's wait till we get to see from the base. But shanis nobody could wear. I'm not giving it to anybody. No one can wear it. Anancha. Well, Anancha. You're not giving it to Anancha. You just bought a nice suit. The, the problem with the Mark of Rambam brings down over here from the Amshar Shleimah that says that you let him move the tzarek kufay mekaymoi. The also tatlai kiim the tzarek kufay mekaymoi. That's what it brings down. Because I don't understand. I looked around. Not, no one really asked the question on the Morgan of Rome. Everyone argues on the Morgan of Rome. And they go with the end of the Morgan of Rome. The Morgan of Rome says that from the Aguda in Beya, Mashma the Asal Tatal Kla. It's Mashma, not a move at all. Now, Klayim is not called the Klisha Melachta of Isser. It shouldn't be called a Klisha Melachta of Isser. What does a Klisha Melachta of Isser mean? A klisha machl is a means of kli. I can, but I can move it. Though. Right, but klisha machl is a means because at a certain point it is a kli, but 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 the baget is. Right, there's no, it's, not, it's, not, it's never a kli. A klisha machl is a means that during the week you could use it. On Shabbos I cannot use it because the only way I can use it on Shabbos is through an iser. That's called a klisha machl is a. Klayim, a baget that has shatnas in it. It's not called a klisha malachta le'isir, even though the only way you can put it on is through isir. But you want to call it a klisha malachta le'isir, because even during the week you can't you wear somebody. this baggage, right? Huh? Well, during the week you can fix it. Yeah, but the way it is now, you can't wear it during the week. Right. The klisha malachta le'isir. What are you saying? It's klisha malachta le'isir because I have to pull out the shatnas, and then I could wear it. Right. So why? So why? It's not called klisha malachta le'isir. Klisha Malachta is a clear that's, it, it's a clear the way it is already. It's meant to use for Isser. A hammer, it's Klisha Malachta Isser. It's a clear, it's meant to use to build, which is an Isser. Something that has an Isser to use it, even during the week, the way it is now, the problem is it's not a clear. This thing, the way it is now, is not a clear. So to call it a Klisha Malachta Isser, I don't understand that. Why is it a klisha malachta If anything, I'd say that it's a klisha malachta leheta, but it's in the iser state right now. Yeah, so right now, so right now it's muktzah machmas gufoy. You cannot do anything with this kli. The Mishnah Bura totally ignores the Morgan of Ram. Doesn't even bring the tzad that's a klisha malachta leheta. The Mishnah Bura writes 
that is a full of tzarich lufoy with kaima aser. But Mishnah Ruch Kuf Sivka and Kuf Samach, they should also the life shay of muktzahu a full of tzarich lufoy with kaima aser el yiraba sharach reinim. So as we bring the Morgan of Rams tzad that it's a klisha malachta le iser and therefore it's mutla tzarich lufoy with tzarich mekaima. Why not? Because the pasuk says not a klisha malachta le iser. Something that's usher in itself, even during the week, the chari you cannot call that a kli shemalach del iser. It's a kasha, a kasha on the morgen of Rome, Why he even says that it's called a kli shemalach del iser? Wait, well, in the Ba'ari ba- Tevi, she brings it though. He brings what? Morgen of Rome? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He brings it. Yeah. He brings it. Yeah. Yeah. The question is, why is that? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see a tarot. I, I know all the Achreinim, the Shulchan Al-Kharav, the Meshavru, the Shulchan Al-Kharav speaks to the Amafurish. Shulchan Al-Kharav says that it's not called a Klisha Malach to the Iser, because it's also even during the week. If you have a chance, look at the Shulchan Al-Kharav. He says it out very clearly. That a, a, a Shatnez is not called a Klisha Malach to the Iser. Klisha Malach to the Iser is only something that could be used during the week, on Shabbos, I can't use it because the only way I can use it on Shabbos is, is through doing an Isser. But something that's, that's a, it itself during the week you cannot use the way it is now is Mukta Machnas Gufa. So Shat and his baguette will be also to move. And the person who says the same thing, anything that has an Isser in it, the way it is now, and you cannot use it, it's Mukta. Anything that you cannot use on Shabbos because it has an Isser in it, Let's say uh, a fruit that wasn't that they didn't take trumas and maizvus. So right now you cannot use it, and Shabbos you it's cannot a, take off trumas and maizvus. Yeah, you cannot take off trumas and maizvus. So that clearly the chayyur is mukta. He brings an example here of also kaling and tweaking on gola or to be right. I was going to say that mm-hmm. you have a you have a spoon that's strafe. You strafe it up. You may say use it for flashlights and milchiks. It's lying around the house. You have to table it. That clearly is mukta machmas gufoi. It's not a klisha machna le iser. It's a mukta machna as gufoy. Because the only way you could use it is after you toivel it. You could use it for other things, though. Oh, but you're saying you can't because. Well, if you just do the that. mice. Uh, yeah. You're saying you're, you're just uh, a a a hole. Hole. What? If you just dig a hole. You could use it for something cold. To dig a hole. You want to dig a hole in the ground. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's why he says he's stopping in the name of The master, the Allah is, you're allowed to use a tray for the kli. You're allowed to use for cold. Even, not, even, not, even for something cold, not for... We don't use it because of Xero, they may use it for hot. From Ikra Din, that's a child also. Something that, that you, you're, not, you're not using because of a Khumra, not because of Ikra Din. It's become Mukta because of it. Remember the person who speak about this. Something, climb is, a, is it's a darai, so you can't wear it. Something I'm not using because of a Khumra. For example, a tray for the spoon, which really you allow to use for something cold. It's only something hot now that I use it for. So that's a chumrah. Does it become muktzah because of that? I'm not supposed to speak about it. I don't remember how to come out with it. So let me ask you for Africa Shadow. Maybe it to me. So I bought a suit right before I became a noble. Never wore this suit. Yeah. That suit now for a year is, is, is uh, muktzah for me. I want to say it's mukta for you, no. I want to say it's mukta. Not to wear a new suit on, on, on a... Is that it's a posh? It's already said because it's, it's not a, a halacha, it's, it's more of a... It's a it's, the other way of clothing is because it makes shachiyah on it. It's a question, it's a new suit called davar chashav or not. And anyway, we'll see later on, anybody else could wear it. Well, is that the criteria? Anybody else could wear it. So we'll see later on, if something that's mukta to you, the owner, because right. of an iser, but everybody else could wear it, is that called mukta or not? If you made a neder. So I'm a neder. We'll say later on. If somebody's a neder, and it's also to him, so then it's not mukta. Mm-hmm. We'll see the, we'll see in, in the last seif here. So anything that's also just to you because of an iser, not to everybody, then it's not mukta. So here also, the suit you could give somebody else to wear. Okay, seif. Memches, mutal taltel manipa manipa b'shabes navrich hazvuvim 
they let it be a talto, a fan, to, to chase away the, the flies. So there is your dust question on the chair. Could you, use, could you use could you could use this uh, this uh, this halacha to basically to let's say to use a fan to take away dust of of a uh, boom? No, it's not for dust. It's for no way. No, no. Why? It's in the can you use the minifah? No, fans for for, for <laughs> so you use personal use. He's saying, saying, you bird, you saying uh, uh, flies are mukta. So how you allowed to sh- sh- shoo them away? Yeah, that, that's not called tiltal. No, so you know, I'm saying, I'm talking about many, about many other things. About blowing. About the lucidity. Right, blowing. So you use a fan to do it. Maybe a crumb. Yeah, we can do that. So you're allowed to use a fan, but not your fingers? Is that is that the idea? Fingers for what? Like, let's say it flies on you and you want to shoot it away. Oh, flies on you, you let it touch it and go like this. Flies on your food, you want to chase it away. If you go a little high, you can do it, for sure. You can't touch it. You're not allowed to touch it, you know. You're not allowed to touch it. You won't let you touch it. No, but practically, flies on your food, you want to chase it away. You're allowed to touch it, you have to make sure when you shoot the fly away, you have to make sure you don't touch the fly. So what's the chiddush in doing a fan? No, so the fan, the chiddush over here, that's the question, what's the chiddush over here? They allow you to use a fan to be a very has movement. The Mishnah says over here, if you look at the Mishnah, see if you can't look at He says, what's the chiddush of Rech has movement? Kachol kli shemalachte l'isir, the mutter l'talpa l'etzar kufay. Vayim ashe ksafte l'el b'sif chav gimel. Now why is this fan called a kli shemalachte l'isir? What, what are you doing? So the person speaking out of here, what it means is, it's a fly swatter. It's meant to kill the fly. During the week, you use it, you'll kill the fly. On Shabbos, so it's a klisham lachal iser. It's meant to kill the fly. On Shabbos, you're using it just to be at a certain end of the way. So the chiddush is that it's from the kaimah. Begin with. Right. It's not talking about it. it's not right. It's not talking, that's, I, think, I think the person speaking out over here in this halacha that what's the chiddush of riechad zuvim? Why is it called a klisham lachal iser? What's the iser over here? Swatting away flies is a problem. Is that is there iser in it? There's no so they say that using something when somebody sees you with this thing. Come on, sign. No. There's a, so they say that, that what it means over here is it's a fly swatter that during the week you kill the fly with it, and Shabbos you let it use that klisham lachtal iser to chase it away. But otherwise, what's the chiddush over here? Esif ayin hey, mechabdoi she mechabdem hemakaka mutal taltalan brooms. He use to clean up the house. Mutal taltlam. Says the Magen Avraham over here. Mechabdois. The man the Amma also lechabed the bayis have a klisham lachtal iser. So the whole shaila not here. It's just simit shin lamet ches. If you let it sweep on Shabbos. So it's a machlekes over there if you let it sweep on Shabbos or not. Depends the karka. It depends if, if, it's, it's, if, it's, if it's if a it's smooth, a, if it's smooth karka, if it's yeah, yeah. tiled floors or yeah. not tiled floors. The original is chashash. Uh, yeah, the original is chashash with a You're smoothing out the the karka and being iser. The maaser so so today's in today's houses you're allowed to sweep. There's always to the sweep in today's houses because everything is tiled. There's no gzeri even. So it's mutter. So a broom today is not even a klisha lachta iser. Right. A broom today is a klisha lachta lehetter. So there's no problem to move a broom on Shabbos. <laughs> if, if you look, if you look in the in the in Sivkan Kuf Samach Gimel, the Mishnah Berurah, Mutal Tal Talam, I feel a mechamel itself. Why? By mechaber Azal Shitasa, the Sfirule, the Mutal Lechaber Karka Marutza. If you let her sweep Karka that's tiled, tiled, yeah. If you look at the Mishnah Machal Hetel, I feel much a pasuk in the Mosham that fill the Marutza of Oser. Even the tiled floors are usher. Im came the bechla klisham lachta leiser ve'en the tiled floor came the tzar kufay mukaima. So we'll see when we get to this. There's a machlekes of mechaber and remor. But there, the remor is machmer. He says you cannot sweep even tiled even floors. Tiled. But there he's talking about a place where there's other, there is floors that are not tiled. There are floors that are not tiled. Therefore, there's a gzera, there's an iser, even on tiled floors, not to do it. I think today, if I remember correctly. But everybody is matted to sweep floors on Shabbos because today there are no floors that aren't tiled. No one sweeps floors that aren't tiled. Yeah. 
לא No, so that's a question. Yeah. Outdoors may be a shweer gumois if it's not if it's not filed. No, okay. But on a tile, yeah, 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 yeah. You do leaves. Oh. The sif non. Haraj be matel otalto he istru loy b'shabes chen sifrei ha chokma odasurab me eshlo slapping b'davar. We had a machlokes in shin and shin zayin. I think it was with the latter. The Rambam holds on Shabbos, you're not allowed to even look at the Sifrei Chachma. Even science books are also on Shabbos, you have to just sit and learn on Shabbos. The, the, the Mechab brings out both Shittas over there, the Mechab is Mekel to use Sifrei Chachma on Shabbos. So therefore, like the Rajba, therefore if you hold the Mutter to read them on Shabbos, it's different than a Muktzah. Anything that's also to read on Shabbos is Muktzah. Sifrei Chachma, which is Mutter to read on Shabbos, then it's Mutter. Now says the Mogen of Ram Ayin Vav, Istro Lav Hu Kli Shechayzim Vayit Lechavim. It's a Kli that the like a tel- uh, telescope. telescope. Like the Zina Shem Yisalek Al Luchayz Miyachziram the Malay Malan Shu Asin. The Vayishlam Bemita Rufuya. So it says we don't make a Gzeir. You may take out the lens and put it back in, because who said that itself was Asin? It's Bemita Rufuya means a bed that's when you put it together. It's not held strong together, so therefore there's no Issa to put it together. Someone that's held strong, then when you put it together, it's awesome. So the telescope, it seems like in those days, you know, the lenses that would go in and out weren't in strong. <laughs> so there won't be an issue to put it in Bechlau, to make it zero, not to use it. Because if you put the lens in, it says the Morgan of Ram, who Masak, says it's also Bechlau? Is it Masakin, when it's the Taj? If, it's, if, it's, if you do it Chazak. Yeah. But if you do it weak, it's not a problem. Mm-hmm. So therefore he says, it's Mutter, today's telescopes, I don't, I don't think there's lenses that come in and out. It just has the thing you could uh, adjust it on the higher it's motor. I think all places can ask him to use telescopes today on Shabbos. Is Mitzur Rufoy the hunter for using a, to open a folding chair on Shabbos? No. No. Have to, you have to come out to that, the folding chair on Shabbos. Folding chair? You have to come out to Mitzur Rufoy. A, fold, no, so a folding chair. For, I thought it was the. No, a folding chair is, is together, it's not a hinge. You're not doing anything. Mitzur Rufoy means you have to put something together. The pieces, the table, yep, the it's assembling pieces. The table will leave it, maybe, maybe that would be more like a meter of fuya. Because we're adding it. But something that's on a hinge. So, so what's the, so just to explain this meter of fuya. So in other words, this, the, the, it's, some, it's some weak construction that... that meter of fuya uh, is an example. They used to have the, the cribs. Before they had the pack in place, they used to have the porter cribs. Remember those? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The porter cribs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the porter cribs, the question is called a meter of fuya not. What they do is they open it up and they put that, that big piece of wood in the bottom, right? right, right or right, just lean. Right. So I'll say that's called the meter of Fuya. Because even though you're making a crib on Shabbos, but it's, uh, so it's not put together well. It's put together, you know, you can take it apart and, and easily. How is that different than a folding chair? A folding chair, you're not putting anything together. It's on a hinge, they're opening a door on Shabbos. Yeah, it's even more easy to make. Yeah, it's more mutter. Right. Uh-huh. A folding chair is a different hatter because you're not doing anything really. But it's it with leaves as mutter because of meter of Fuya. It could be. 
Could be a pentacle because if you if you lock them in. No, there's not a lot. Just, just, just lock them. Yeah, could be a Yeah, yeah, could be a That could be what's going to be through for you. And the, uh, and the pack and play would, uh, would be in the same. The, the pack same and play is the same thing as a folding chair. The pack and play is just it's not a hinge. No, the porter cribs. Porter cribs. Yeah, there used to be something called porter cribs. Pack play those things they 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 aren't a hinge basically. Just close it. You put it in a bag, right? Today they have, don't have any porter cribs. They have those things. Everything's hinged together. Just push it down and it opens up. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's not what you're referring it's to. It's not meant to the foot. It's all together. It's like a folding chair. Yeah, oh, that is the folding chair. Yeah, it's all together. Porter cribs were. It would come apart. Yeah, it would make it small and the the whole. Uh, so it would come thing apart. You take out the bottom, right, and then the whole thing would come apart. Then you then you uh, would tighten it at the Diamond, ends. Yes. It was a whole different thing, a porter crib. You had to put it together. Right. Something you had to put together is a meter of foyer. This, the, the, anything that's on a hinge, is not included in a meter of foyer. So this istralov, that's why I'm saying the ones that we have today, that all you do is tighten and loosen it. Yes. That's not the, the dusting it. It's not a meter of foyer because it's already together. Right. If you have to put the lens in, then it'll be something else. That's called a meter of foyer. You're doing, you're putting something in that wasn't there before. Anything on a hinge that's put together. You're just loosening it, whatever, you're adjusting the lens, that's not included in the material for you. Yes, the topic says the Morgan of Ram, Ayn Ches, the Dom of the Mid. Uh, that's right, that's right, it's an exit. Fine, so that is what the science books, but anything you're not allowed to read on Shabbos, could have a den muktzah. Anything you're not allowed to read on Shabbos may have a den muktzah. That's why there's things with advertisements in them. The only advertisements, the is mukta, and they have these things they give out. Flyers. Flyers and stuff like that. Those things are mukta on Shabbos. Smart shopper. The what? Smart shopper. Yeah, the shopper's guys or the link, whatever they, whatever they give out. It's a community link, right? It's all advertisements, the whole thing. Even though you can find maybe one time there's a page about something, about the COR or whatever, the cash was, but no one, no one looks at that even. But it's, it's, a, it's basically meant to advertisements. The chayre should be mukta on Shabbos. Anything you can read on Shabbos is Mukta. Okay, Sifun and Aleph. Masha Moira Ala Shois. Something that tells you the time. Shakirin. Alazoyv. Vain Shahu shall choil. Vain Shahu shall min acher. Yesh la stapik ebutal tautaloy. So, Safik, if you could use it on Shabbos. Now, this thing basically is something that measures the time. An hourglass. It's like an hourglass. The, uh, uh, making the for yeah. the X. But the, the, right, the, the things, sand. you know, these have the bottle games, yeah, you know, timers. These, the timers. <laughs> yeah, those timers. So those timers are measuring time. Now, measuring time, the issue would be, you know, Medida, measuring is also. So the question is, is measuring time called um, a measuring or not? Is measuring time called measuring? So that's the Machalikas over here. Does measuring time have a chashivas of measuring, therefore it's awesome. Why is this in the uh, Parsha of Mutzah? I mean, the question is the Mutzah Taltaloid. But, but um, you can't use it, you the question is the Mutzah Taltaloid. The question is the Mutzah Taltaloid or not. Is it also a but, but definitely not a user of Shabbos. You definitely not use it on Shabbos. So what about a watch? A watch is a... Is it a so measuring time? No, see a watch is mutter. See in a second why. Oh, no, the heart everyone agrees yeah, good question. But I think everyone agrees. <laughs> everyone agrees they cannot use it on Shabbos. The question is only if it's muktzah on Shabbos or not. If it's enough to make a muktzah. So I had this happen yesterday. My son has a pair of cufflinks that are yeah. egg timers. That are what? The cufflinks are egg timers. They're sand. They're sand. In them. <laughs> we, we have these chachkas at the store. We get, so we have all these. Different yeah, but no one uses it. It's not really meant to use timer. In just fact, the sand doesn't even go through the other end, it just sort of goes from top of the line. It lasts about three seconds. Okay, so it's not a time really. 
Yeah, it's not a time really. So you know that it's three seconds, so that's... The whole Issa being metopolis. The whole Issa being metopolis, that's how simple it's also to be metopolis. And then you're not using it. And the whole Issa of doing a Bechlal, that's a partial that's also to do it. Because the whole Issa would be that's Medita, you're measuring, measuring time is a Shaila if it's, if it's uh, also or not. So if you look in the, in the Morgan of Ram, yesterday's topic, the Domi the Medidas has man, or the Medidas has sale, for Klisha Melech Isim. It's like measuring time, and measuring time could be, it's an Oster, Isser of measuring. We have time about having Medidas on Mitzvah, maybe you can say it's Medidas on Mitzvah, Shalom Yid Al Yadoy, Bishari, you're learning through it, and it's Mutter. Shani Hacha, that Medida ain't a Mitzvah. We had before, the Medida Shal Mitzvah is Mutter. You learn to measure a mikvah to see if it has a bar saw on it. You learn to take the measurement of a chayli to see if it's sick or not. Medida Shal Mitzvah we saw was Mutter. This should also be itself is not a Mitzvah. V'yimishim Shalai Medal Yada, if it's because you're learning through the Medida, Im Kain, Yitla Limuda Be Isser, Be Shari Chalila, you're going to say, I'm doing an Isser. Yeah, and I'm learning from that learning. answer. I want to learn. I, I want to learn. And answer. Yeah. You can't say that. You can't say that I'm learning through doing an answer. If it's also to do Medida on Shabbos, you can't say yeah, the yeah. learning from the Medida is a, is a mitzvah. Right. right. Yeah. So it can't be an answer. It can't be an answer. So that's the machlekes over here on measuring time. Machlekes, that's on the gate. Today, really, no one uses that to measure time. The main shaila is is today's watches. So if you look in the Morgan, in the Mishabur over here, Kuf Samaches, Lesar, Ubezaiger Shalanu, our watches, Zaiger is a watch, Yesh Lahatir, it could be Matir. Vedafka Hakatanim Shedkarim Teshenur, which is a Tashen Zaiger, which is a pocket watch, that's what's Mutter. Avla Gedolim, the big one, the current vant or which is a, a, a wall clock. Also, the taltu, a full ice and clear choice. I'm the meteva la karka. Yes, the hachmer with tilted learn to learn. I think what it means here is, is the, 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 the wall clocks yeah. make sound or or you don't move it. The big yeah, you leave it there. It's yeah. meant to stay. It's not meant to move. Therefore, it's also to move it. But a watch, he says, is a motor. Why is a watch motor? So, the reason I think with Shem Shalom is when they say, that measuring time is when you have something, you have a certain amount of stopwatch. A stopwatch is called measuring time. You want to measure how much time is passing. Yeah. Right? So then, the shayla is that, if that's called measuring or not. But a watch that's telling you time is not called measuring. Measuring, it's not. Measuring. Telling time is not called measuring. Measuring is, I have five minutes, I want to know when five minutes pass, then you're measuring time. You have someone to tell you when five minutes pass. Something that's telling you the time, what time it is now, is not called measuring time. And therefore, the matter all watches today, no one's going to say are mukta. Everyone agrees that watches today are not mukta. Some of them so have. The, no, just no, just no, a little, no, a little no, no, They work through a movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little, a little musavart. Hello. You know, like a fish. I know we have we have one more <laughs> left. No, I think it's a while. It's going to take a good 10-15 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, hard to see. So what's your most